Hi, welcome to another video. So, Minimax has launched their new agent, which is actually quite insane, and I wanted to talk about it. To use it, you can just head on over to the agent.minimax.io site, and then you'll see this page. This is what the Minimax agent looks like. You can use this for free by just signing up for an account, and you'll get about 1,000 free credits which is good for general purpose users. But you can also look at the subscriptions if you wish to take it even further. Now, once that's done, you can see this prompt box. Here, you can type in whatever you want it to do, and it can basically boot up a virtual machine sandbox, surf the web, write code, and even create whole applications for you. It can do research, write code, make applications, or almost anything that you want it to do. You can upload files as well to give it context for whatever it is that you want it to do. So, if you want it to work on data analysis, then you can give it Excel files or PDFs and stuff like that, and it can reference that and do analysis based on that. But there's another thing that makes it quite different from all the other options. And that is this MCP option. It allows you to install MCP servers to the agent and give it even more context and options to access other application data like Slack, databases, Notion, and GitHub, which is quite good. It comes by default with the Minimax MCP server as well as the Google Maps MCP server, which is good for research tasks that include location finding, and stuff like that. Anyway, apart from this, you can also see the sidebar on the left, where you can see the history of your chat and stuff like that. On the page, you'll find some pretty cool examples to check out. One of them is the interactive Pokedex. Let's take a look. With just a simple input, like build an interactive Pokemon Pokedex webpage featuring the first 50 Pokemon including their animations and types. Then, the agent handles everything. Once it's done, you can open the site, explore it, and even play around with the features. Super impressive stuff. Let's check out another one. Aesthetic Candle Website. This one has a bit more detail in the task input, but it's still written in plain, everyday language, nothing technical at all. And the result? Super impressive. The AI agent builds a full e-commerce ready website. No coding, no hiring a designer, no big upfront cost. This is a game changer for small business owners and indie creators. Now you can bring your product idea to life online, beautifully, with just one sentence. It's never been easier or more affordable to launch your own brand. Now, Let's try to ask it to do something and see how it works. I'm going to ask it to make a portfolio page for developers in Pokedex style. Once we send it, you can see that it can go ahead and create the application for us in just a bit. First of all, it creates a to-do file where it writes down what it needs to do, and then it starts the work. Now, the best part about it is that it actually creates proper React apps like, it doesn't make those crappy HTML pages. It creates literally multi-page React apps, which are really production-ready. Anyway, you can see that it goes ahead and runs some terminal commands to set up the project, and then it does some searches for references on how the style should be. Like here, it did a batch search for Pokedex interface, and it got a ton of stuff that it can use for reference. It also searched for e-commerce website homepage for portfolio sample projects. It also searched for more references and stuff as well, which you can see here. After this, it went ahead and created a JSON file for the developer info, which is awesome because if you want to update your portfolio, you can just change this file and it will get updated. Anyway, it then writes the code for the portfolio and then it runs the server 
and uses browser use to test the application here, which is quite awesome. It can actually interact with the application and do stuff, which is quite cool. Anyway, after a bit, it gets finished, and we now have the URL to test it, as well as the code here, which we can download and also run locally. If we look at this, then this is quite awesome. I mean, it's really awesome. You get the basic info here, and you can also see the developer stats in Pokedex style, and you can also see the skills here, and you can even search as well as filter front end or back end. You can also see the projects here, and you can click on them and see more details along with stats for these projects. You can also see the contact info here, and this is actually insane. It worked really well. It has a really thoughtful design with multiple pages and modals and everything, and it uses real images and stuff as well. Plus, it's all React code, meaning that you can actually deploy it to production and use it accordingly. Also, you can share these as playbacks with others using the share option, and others can also see what the agent did and stuff like that. Now, let's try something else as well. I'm going to ask it to make me an interactive Japan trip plan in an interactive site. Once we do that, it will again go ahead and start the task, create some to-dos, and do some research on the best places. It scrapes a ton of pages here to get all the intricate details of what it needs to give you and all kinds of stuff. And it really does quite in-depth research for this. If we wait a bit, then we get the stuff here. If we run this, then we can see the interactive plan here, which looks pretty amazing. You can see all the stuff over here, and it actually looks pretty cool and actually useful. You can also follow up and ask it to make some changes or stuff like that. It even gives me information on things like when you should travel and everything. So, this also works well for research that needs to be done via the web and everything like that, which is quite good as well. Now, let's also see how well it performs with custom data and data analysis. I'm going to give it this Excel sheet of Amazon Store Sales Report, and then I'm going to ask it, here's last month's sales data from my Amazon Store. Could you analyze it thoroughly with visualizations and recommend specific data-driven strategies to boost next month's sales by 10%. Now, what you'll see is that it will again go ahead, write some Python scripts in order to analyze it and create some charts, and in just a bit, it will get that done. And we now have the analysis report here as well, which is awesome and looks good and everything. You can obviously download it and share it with others as well, and it just works really well. That is mainly how you can use the Minimax agent. It is really powerful. It can search the web, scrape pages, run browser instances, run terminal commands, and it can do all this in literally just one prompt. It can keep going, checking the application itself, and then always give you the most reliable responses each time, which is just awesome. It is super awesome and works really well. You can try it out for free easily through the link in the description. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!